All right, it's always a good idea to get the number of your room in case you forget. <laughs> I do it all the time because in the beginning you could forget. So this is on the 12th floor. That's what the 12 stands for. It doesn't always hold true on, on chips, but pretty much. And I, I am port side, which is left. And I am forward, which is front. So it's good. And I'm right near the elevators, but f like five rooms away. So I don't think the elevator noise will bother me. Being a light sleeper, it sometimes can. So here's what a balcony room looks like on this ship. It looks very similar to the ones that I've had before. Um, most ships, uh, the balcony rooms will alternate between the couch being on this side and the bed being on that side. I typically like to be closer to the window, but it really doesn't make much difference. You know, I just like to look out the window, but, and it's random. You can try to figure it out if you want to pick your room. It pretty much goes every other ship, every other room. And I don't know if this one does or not. When I peek in one of the other rooms, I, I think I look, but almost all of them do. But it's got everything you need. It's a modern ship. It's built in 2021, so it's only two years old. And the newer ships tend to do a very good job, and MSC does a good job with these, giving you what you need. You know, it's a small cabin, but this isn't that small. Uh, this may or may not pull out. If, I'm not sure if this room is for a third person or not. We have a beautiful balcony. And um, you can see we're at Port, now, Port Canaveral. You can see the Carnival Vista over here. And that is the vision of the seas. Look how small that looks now. That was a big ship when it was made. You can hear announcements with Carnival. This ship, I am at the part that just juts out. The middle part of the ship juts out a little bit. In the next room will have a bigger curved balcony. And uh, down here on deck eight is, they have an outside deck and there's hot tubs down there. I could get adventurous maybe and jump into one from my balcony, but I think that would be quite the trick. We won't do that, even though I'm on the unlimited drink program, so there is a risk. I think I'm past that stage. But this gives you a good look at what the room is like. I'm saying rum like a Bostonian for some reason. I bring a lot of cool stuff. Uh, these Bluetooth players are fantastic. <laughs> 6,000 songs, put them on shuffle. Um, I do bring my own lights. These, uh, these are newer. They actually have magnets on them. And if you don't know and haven't cruised a lot, the walls are magnetic. And unfortunately, this wooden part here will not attach them. And I have a limited USB cable. So can't hang it on the wall like I was going to but it does give some nice mood lighting I love this thing this only cost me five dollars at either five below or one of the dollar stores I can't remember and the best part of it is that you've got a little remote here so if I wake up in the middle of the night I can press it put it on oh my goodness they have to be making noise while I'm doing this right <laughs> that's the carnival ship doing its muster drill oh my goodness do you want to hear a mustard drill? We have to do ours soon. I was hoping to be able to get a nap in before that. I only got five hours sleep again. Bad way to start. Um, modern ships, best thing, USB ports. Do they have it on both sides? There's a good question. Oh, one. So luckily there's only one of me here. But if there were two uh, of us sharing uh, beds or even these beds do separate, we would be bummed. There are two USB ports here. I bring this little contraption, which adds more plugs and a couple of USB on the side. Bought it on Amazon for like $15. Really cool. Nice TV. Everything you need is my poncho ornament, which is nice to bring because it can rain and surprise you. You can clip that on or just stick it in your bag. Um... Big closets on, on board, so um, right now my luggage has not arrived, so on my carry-on I keep a bathing suit in case I do want to go bathing, which I never seem to do. Uh, if my luggage doesn't arrive, that will be my outfit for the rest of the week. And I do know people where that's happened, let's hope it doesn't. And a uh, big closet. Yeah, you know, it's, it's, it's more than what I need. I'm happy. I booked a inside cabin, and they upgraded me for free, which 
happens a lot with MSC. I'm not saying to do that, but um, it does happen a lot. Bathroom's tight, but every crew's bathroom is tight. You're going to bang your elbow a little bit. Might have to, um, you know, turn yourself in a certain way to use the toilet. It depends. Luckily, I'm a relatively thin person, but if you're a fluffy person, there, you know, you're going to have to manage. If you're a super fluffy person, you can go to the gym and take showers there. And I've seen people do that. It's a good cruise trick because some of these showers are ridiculous. You, I mean, I don't know how any large person can fit into them. But yeah, this is the entire room. I don't think I can show you much more. I may take a different video later. It's always tough doing it on the first day because you haven't found the quirks of the room. But again... I don't I mean there's so much storage, you know, and there's little benches that you can use as tables. All these modern ships are oh the mini bar is locked, but I'm not gonna use it anyway, so they do charge you for that, even if you're on the drink plan. Yeah, the modern ships have so much. This just what do you want for the money you pay? This is great. All right. Room tour is done.